I wanted this picture, but it'll be my last. A water pump. It was a water feature. It needs a new sculpture. We can take two of these off the bus. We can put white on there and then like the color. No, I didn't have a lot of Buffers that were already established. No, sir. It's turning into a flower patch. As your economic development um, person, we need to give the money back to Kaboom. We're gonna get the water from your house, your house. Nothing feels like dying like the drying of my skin and love. Why do we just sit here while they watch us with their tears? His company were the purchaser of those eight schools, and so I just really want to commend him personally on behalf of the city of Pontiac for actually uh, taking the opportunity to want to hear and engage from the people on what should happen to those schools. A lot of times, people buy bills and they don't want to hear anything. They've got their plan and they're going to do what they want to do anyway. Uh, but he wanted to have a forum tonight to actually talk about uh, what's happening. And so uh, the lady who's in the hat in the back is very shy. That's our illustrious city council president. <laughs> We also have Councilman John Woodward, who's here. because they're trying to foster ideas and for a long time in the city of Pontiac uh, we have failed to plan and any road has taken us where we are and so he has a whole building that's dedicated to just thinking about what we can do in the future and so please 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 take advantage of going over and sitting down and seeing Jim so you can flush out not only the ideas that you have for yourself, but the ideas for the city. Think about it. In a couple of weeks, we're going to be voting on the future of what happens to Pontiac schools. And so they say it's for capital improvement, right? But we don't necessarily have a capital improvement plan yet. And so we need to foster the things and say, okay, great. We might pass this millage and pay for the capital improvement. But what's the plan to generate a new uh, technology school that we actually have that's going to be state of the art? Just this one idea that we need to be focused on because if we don't focus on it, we'll be saying that 30 years from now, we still use the Pontiac High School in the condition that it's in. How you doing, Mary Jane? Hello. Tell everybody about Parking Day and what Parking you're doing. Parking Day is awesome. We are here. We're taking over the streets. This takeover. Downtown Parking Day takeover. Business owners, local nonprofits. Come on, we got Harold's Italian Ice. Come on and get in the, like get in the camera. I'm the official taste tester for Harold's Italian Ice. So, what you need to do. Okay. Yeah, but he not only just needs to taste it, he needs to carry some carts inside the building. See, we're making that happen. See, we're going to get the local businesses right here at Parker. Store. Greasy men come and dig my well. Life without your water. 
not that they haven't been to cities, but it's an experience for most of us who have not heard about the audio I'm looking for your ideas, your insights. Get any relative to, to uh, our transportation issue, how will you guys be getting to and from the car center? One of the human services that are offered in one of the towers are a value added to the community. But they can't get there. And they don't get there. And it needs to become a magnet where those services are available because they are there. That's what the keys that I have to offer. It's a plaza, you know. And then they are there because of ways in which they interact with that sphere of influence, but they also have human services and so forth. And they have So um, identifying those safe houses in your neighborhood. But, um, you know, we did a walk of the community to figure out where things were located. And if I wanted to go find a banana or an apple or something like that, is that within my, within, like, this is excellent. I, I just copied that actually, if you don't mind, but. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> having, having the 15, 15 minute, you know, bike ride or a, a 10 minute walk you know, are your resources within your area? Um, and then is it safe to do that in your area? I think that it's one of the few things naturally getting people to walk around downtown is, oh, okay, I'm just kidding. Uh, is that uh, it's, it's this silly game that hundreds of millions of people like to play and it's not being capitalized on that that's one of the only things getting people to actually God, uh, interact the with, with the downtown area, yeah. And then also serves as a blues jazz club and Hidden River Park is just an opportunity for the businesses, their employees and others, especially during the festivals and events to come down and take a greenery look at what's going on in an urban downtown. We also redid this park as an opportunity to make sure that the city residents recognize that there is a place to come down and relax throughout the day or the evenings or the weekends here in downtown Pontiac. So we're proud to say downtown Pontiac, you'll be glad you came because of so much of the diversity we offer to not only our residents, but to our neighboring visitors. This, this structure here in the middle used to be a beautiful fountain that flowed. And we did maintenance to keep it going. As you see now, they have a weeping cherry here. That would be a good place to start to, to talk about. How do we do this? How do we make an outdoor place One more. that makes sense for the people, right, to recover as, as we go through this change that's come about because of the virus, because of what happened last year? There's no question that we are changed people. Right. The community needs to change as well. Um, Absolutely. There's also a big commitment to Pontiac from the county level. And it's a really good time to ask for money. I don't know what the city will end up. And even if the city gets $30 million, it will be challenging to... Mm -hmm. uh, get everyone to agree on how to spend it, right? I mean, it's always going to be a challenge yeah. trying to do anything in the city. We, you guys know this more than I do, I'm sure, but um, to, to make a big change in the street. I was thinking about, you know, you can do small projects, but what if you actually had a map that showed Saginaw, you know, one of your beautiful diagrams, with a whole lot of small projects, and each one of those projects belong to one of the stakeholder groups or companies in the city, right? So whether, you know, each one of those individual place-making things, the small projects, maybe 
this one here is a, a community garden, and that one's a fountain, and that one's a, mm -hmm. uh, a thing to do. I'm thinking about hot spots, hot, hot spots. So what if you had, like, um, you know, park-like places to sit that had that looked like trees, but maybe they were not even real trees. Maybe they had goats that sucked garbage. I don't know. But um, ways for people to sit down and, and get access to a hot spot. There's right so there much there. technology. So you could take your fountain could be connected, right, as part of a system that is also clean, fresh drinking water. That is awesome. I mean, you can really make cool stuff out of that. Make this it part of a... Yes, we, we have, have one at the... Across the street <laughs> that they put a tree in. They, um, and I, it sounds like the first step in that is to get an understanding for you of who the partners are that we need to bring back to the table. Mm -hmm. um, arrange for that to happen. Uh, you know, walk through the particulars of this is how much money we have and this is the time frame in which we have to execute this. Mm -hmm. um, to dream big, but to dream within our needs, not over promise and under deliver. Sure. Um, and then, uh, you know, really execute. And the city is prepared um, and everyone understands that all of the labor and all of the resources of the city will be in kind into this project because it has been sitting here for so long. Um, in my eyes, the, the fact that the city has not executed or, or worked on this is unacceptable. Um, so, and, and pardon if I'm wrong, I think some key next steps and takeaways are, you guys have done an, an extreme amount of work on this, and I had I did not know that this existed, and, I, and I'm uh, so sorry that I didn't. Um, not to worry. Guidance we should bring back to the table to make sure everyone's voice is heard um, with this project, and um, kind of do some, some what I call a cuddle, um, to get back to all of these creative pieces and then um, set some ex piece of expectation in this space. Mm -hmm. Does that sound okay to you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you, if you'll sh can you share with us what you have so we can work yes. work from that? Yeah. It, it kind of yes, I, and I can share my screen. What I have is for final play everywhere grant application. Um, I have... Um, some invoices for some drums that were installed uh -huh. that were not um, part of it. Yeah. yeah, what was the number? Do you recall the number on that? Uh, I believe it was somewhere to the, to the tune of um, a couple thousand dollars, yeah. but that was not applied to this grant, and because it was so long ago, Good. Um, we are not uh, considering that an expenditure that this fund. Good. So we're gonna get the